Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we finished up the first quest here on the Giga, like, secret base questline thingy. So we did the Giga Clan exam, which was uh, offering five bananas to, like, offering platforms scattered around uh, this region here. So today we're gonna turn that in and continue on on the quest here excellent finally you have returned after making the necessary offerings my intelligence sources have confirmed it you passed the blade master exam i have a reward for you assuming the mantle of blade master you are permitted to step into the inner sanctum this reward is val valuable and only found in the depths you should know that it is a great honor to receive one Pay no heed to the strange glowing ruins you may find inside. We haven't yet decided what to do about them. What's important is your hard work in overcoming the Blade Master exam. All glory to the Master Kuga. All glory to the Kuga Kuga, of course. 100%. Nice. Diamond. Okay, no. that's also good. Finally, a shrine. So was that everything here? Oh, the... Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it is. I want this uh, bomb here. Bomb flower. Let me please take it. Let's check this out then. Ah, of course. And this is good, this can heal me up. Because I had taken a lot of damage here in the last episode. And I have forgotten to f cook food in between, as always. Okay, so with that out of the way, what's, what am I supposed to do here now? Did we get a new quest line? Monster Kuga of the Yiga clan. Side quests maybe? Nope. Let's go and talk to this dude again. This cannot be everything. But I know we have another base as well. Which we should be able to access. Okay. You're now officially a blade master. Why not go visit the hideout to spread the good news? Remember, it's in Car Carusa Valley, north of Gerudo Town. For anyone else, I'd say... That's quite a journey, but given that you're capable... Okay. Besides, it's important that the Giga Clan knows we have a new Blade Master to look at. Okay. So north of the Gerudo town, we had Carusa Valley. Ah, here it is, here it is. Giga Clan hideout. Nice. I know I, I've been there earlier, but I didn't remember where it was. Nice. This shrine, shrine we have done, and we've also been down to that part of the depths, I think. Maybe we never jumped down, now that I think about it. I don't think we did. But let's start with the hideout. Then we can jump down after, if it becomes relevant. Also, why is the <laughs> map on the depths here? Let me in. I am... 100% Gerudo. Not Gerudo, Giga. The hell? Okay. 
Why can't I enter? That's weird. I guess I have to do this. <laughs> Light route. Yes, that's we drop down. That's actually nice. Then we haven't been here. So otherwise, we would have lightened up this place last time we was here. Okay, so does it mean that they have their hideout somewhere in the depths instead? Oh, there, there is a ascending platform. Which actually might... Let's see where, how far away it is. Oh, it's... <laughs> That's not the correct one. We want something like this, this way. So I guess that's this way, huh? Yeah. We're in the depths. We need to build one of these. But actually here... Do you have their thing here? Have they left any... What is this? Oh, this is for making a car, huh? I was wondering if they had left any text, like a, in a book or something for me to read. Usually they provide some information on where you should search. But it doesn't seem like it. I'm just gonna take these model buds because you can never have too many of them. I see a light route in the distance. Somehow we always end up in the depths, huh? <laughs> now I forgot the light route on my on my bike here. Which is no good. But I hope we will manage. Like now we're going really far away from everything. That's a platform with some boss fight. I guess we're gonna try that. Well, how can this light route be this far away? It looked so much closer before I committed to it. Will the battery be enough? I don't think so. But if we're lucky, we might. No. Not even close. I will probably just munch on two of those. Okay, so this one was really far away. That's actually really far. I'm so super lost over this thingy right here.
Because we had the full Giga gear on, if I'm correct. Giga, 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 yeah. So how come they didn't open the door for me? Also... The blue thing is over there. I see a light room far away in the distance there also. Is it upwards they want me to go? Then we just get back. Okay. I didn't even have enough for it, huh? Then we will travel the old school way. Maybe that's the Giga hideout. Like, why is it water here also? First of all, let's fight these dudes, because we really need a refill on the ore deposits. The Sonai ore. Maybe we shouldn't use the royal bow, but why not? Higher. We should change our outfit. Make us a bit more tanky here. Oh. Why can't we all just be friends? of damage is way too low here. That's better. Damn. That dude had no shell. You get down here. I wanted that goddamn fire arrows, uh, uh, fire fruits, but I guess not. Now the fun part begins. Claiming all this goddamn loot. Because it was a lot of ores here for the amount of enemies. Sure, it was a lot of. Um, Silver enemies, which made it a bit more tedious fighting this thing. More arrows, please. Thank you, thank you. And what can be in the... Ooh. In the chest over here. I'm wondering. Something good, perhaps? I guess. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a lot of Sonai. Soon we have 15 large Sonai, which means we should go and buy the large crystallized charges from a uh, mine. And with that loot, we should be able to build this. Okay. 
And then let's go and check this place out. It's in the overall... This wouldn't even be... Like, the, it's must be able to... To... Get access to the inside of the Giga hideout, like in the overworld. That's nice. Oh my god. That was way too close. <laughs> too slow on my parachute there. Let's read this. There are plants down here I have never seen on the surface, but you can't still cut them down into logs. They work as well as surface log. Now you can repair rafts without carrying wood all the way from the hideout. Glory to the Master Kuga. So we had one more enemy somewhere here. So I saw someone going around with a boat. There he is. That's clean. what we get. Fan boat. That's actually nice to have on a quick build. Large crystallized charges as well, which is nice. Okay, so this was not the official like hideout. We still want to go there also. Can we just ascend this thing? Nice. Okay, so let's go. To the ascend place over there and just see what that gives us like where we go up from from that place then a part of me also want to jump down in this chasm here because it looks like you get like inside of this tree stem so it's probably some type of boss fight inside there if i could take a guess we should do this fight also for this extra zone I... That should be almost a one shot. <laughs> Four shot. Let's use this. He has a spear, so I also want to use my spear then. Ow. This one more right, yeah, yeah, here. Oh no, he should be dead. At least that should count as a death. <laughs> Because he went far away there. Nice. 
Nice, nice. Large all night in this loot session right here. Which isn't as usual. Usually we don't get this much so night in this short amount of time. Okay, I think I got it all. That was a scuffed uh, Take off, but it worked. Okay, so when we do this, we will lose out on the um, on the car, but that's fine. And I'm gonna go up here because we want to use this place to just jump down in the next chasm here. <laughs> huh? So I'm guessing that this place holds something special. And also, while we're here, why not? Jump down. At least it's like a, you can walk all the way down to the depths. Boom. Bird and lookout chasm. Will this put me inside of the tree? I think we're actually inside the tree here. Maybe not. So which one is the closest? Okay, let's go to this one. Okay, so it was just a regular drop because there is where we ascended before. really weird that we didn't get access to the Giga hideout. Maybe you have to approach it like from some cave here. Then you can get into it. That will be the next thing we have to try. There looks like a big ore deposit. Let's clear it before we leave the depths for today. Should probably eat something. Let every electrical thing hit me here today. Okay, 
something a, with a bit more than 15 damage on the silver dudes. Otherwise we will be here the whole day. From here, where is the ne nearest mine? Doesn't really matter, but we have one here. I came for this. That should be 100. So we will have 182. Which means we need 20 more. Or 18 more. That's gonna eat up a lot of our sonite. So we will actually leave it for now. And from here, I guess we have to try the other theory out that you can get into the Giga hideout from this side instead. So I'm thinking going there and then just flying over there. Of course, make it easy for us. We had so nice charge here with a lot of nice loot on them, but I'm gonna leave it for now. I think this is actually how they wanted me to approach the Giga. This isn't this part of the Giga. Okay, it's too hot. No, since it is the Giga frogs, yeah. So that's why I wasn't able to open the door, huh? I took the back, back, back door in. At least I tried to, without any success. But this will probably net us an entry to the hideout. I really have a lot of traps on the way up here. Good thing we're flying, so we don't really get touched by those. Sniffle, what I really want, what I really need is, what's the matter? Sniffle, there's one thing I want, no matter what. What do you want? To kill me. Yeah. But I'm also 100% Giga, trust me. I just forgot to put the mask on. Why not this? Nice revenge you got there, dude. So we should probably, before I forget it, change back to the Giga Cloth.
For being a secret hideout, they have they have not chilled on the in like interior design here or exterior design rather. It's quite telling that this is a Giga place, a Giga clan hideout. Ah. Hey, so I heard that I could learn this really cool move here. I think it's called the earthquake technique. That's why I'm here also. Get lost. Only Giga clan members may enter this place. <laughs> And I want to join too. I heard you guys could teach me some cool moves that have everyone swooning over me. Mm. To join us is to become part of a collective shrouded in secrecy. Our lives sworn to Master Kuga. Who you were before matters not. Only your strength, your loyalty and your skill for esp espionage. Find our three branches and collect the clan attire. Earn your place among us and the door will open mm. for you. Maybe then we'll teach you our moves. Now go away. <laughs> I have done all that. Ha, huh, go away. I don't get a hint about where the branches are or even a peek at what the Giga clan wears. Oh. Hey, come on. You gotta be kidding. My mom said, I know my sweet little Mimos will pass the Giga test first try. That's why I came all the way out here. But not only did I not pass, I didn't even get past the front oh. gate. But if I do join the Giga clan, then I'd be able to learn some cool moves. If I could bust them out, I bet everybody would be like, Wow, Mimos, you're so handsome and cool, hmm? <gasps> Whoa, a real live uh... Giga? Awesome, I've never seen one in person before. So that's the Giga outfit, huh? Looks even more stylish than I thought. Okay, that settles it. I'm finding those branches and getting those studs. Then those cool Giga moves will be all mine. Oh man, I'm gonna be so popular. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, maybe. Infiltrating the Giga clan. Let me know. Mm. Alright, come in. So if I would like take off my Giga gear now, will they attack me, everybody here? The fearless demeanor. I heard you had promise. But didn't think you earn your place, let alone race to the bl blade master. A splendid feat. Don't let your title bloat your ego. Stay faithful to the cause with a sharp blade and a silent heart. I imagine you're well acquainted by now. But this hideout is the lynch linchpin of the Giga clan's subterranean expansion. It's where we train our members, develop our special vehicles, and do whatever else needs doing. I hope you find this place can serve you as well as you can serve it. We're grateful to have you, Blade Monster. Good to know. So, are you selling weapons? Okay. Nice. You are selling what? Nothing. Hey, hey. How I love my little spikes. There's something so delicious, dangerous about having them around. Hey, jerk. Anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Don't tell me you're here to get some spikes of, of your very own. Uh, I'll spike shop. So let's buy a spike for 100. So is this mine now? I thought I would get a spike in like this type of form. Ooh. 10 for 35. Is that a good price? Oh. I think it is. Ah. Guess that's where we're going. Or maybe that's where we're going. There's nothing. You sell bananas. I guess I have to burn this to get behind it. They don't even bat an eye for that, huh? That's a good eightfold blade. So we're gonna drop the spear for it. I 
want some quests in here. That will not work. That's just the way up. No, that's where we came from. That's some stairs down now. Can break open this. Oh. This looks so cool. It's like a motorcycle. Uh -huh. oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to repair the frame. Don't touch it. Sorry. Do you want to be made into parts? That I don't want. I talk to you. Next, I'll just mount this tire here and fix it real tight so it won't come off. Huh? Hey, can you stop looming? I can't focus if you just stand there all silently. Can't you see the depth team left me an armored vehicle to fix? Huh? You're interested in the this raging roadster? My fiendish armor clad masterwork? The gloom dredger? Yes, I'm interested. If you really won't take no for an answer, I could sell you one for 999 rupees. Huh? You're a blade master, aren't you? For you, I let it go for much cheaper. 500 rupees. Just as long as you tell me your thoughts on how to improve this vicious vehicle. Oh, and don't tell anybody you got it from me. I'd be bad. It'd be bad for me to if this get out. Okay. I will buy it for 500. Let me know what need tuning and we'll make the Gloom Dredger even more monstrous than ever. The product in question is outside. Follow me this way. Ah. Oh. Am I supposed to drive it? I will set that as a favorite right now, so we have the recipe for it. And let's get back, because I don't think we're done here. That's can be accessed from the cave, and this is also a cave, huh? Somewhere. Okay, could I talk to you again? Hmm. The way they treat my creations, just because I can't fix it, doesn't mean they can smash it into bits. Oh. What's with you? Oh no no no! Don't tell me you smashed up my gloom dredger, didn't you? My portrait in Finnish armored monster machine. I'm good. Then get lost. Waste my time again and I mount you in front of one of those. Okay. We can talk to him if we want to recreate it also. I guess you can probably buy this design as well here. Tell me. Between the tasteless gloom dredger over there and this hover doom MK3. Which do you think is more beautiful? Mm, the Hover Doom. Eh, easiest question you'll ever answer. This Hover Doom MK3 is a whole different beast from that all show number over there. Simplicity with a dash of recklessness. Now that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. <laughs> so, how about it? You have a dash of recklessness yourself, so I sell you one brand new for 99 rupees. Hold on, you're a blade master. 
I can get it for 50 rupees instead. I guess I'm gonna buy it. It's got a steering stick on it as well. It's good. Nice. I have to attach something to it. I do that. And I have it. Nice. Thought they would give me quests here. Durability on the on the fuse with the iron boxes, it's really strong. Now it will break though. I heard a weapon drop here earlier. Yeah. Use that with a rock. Oh, that's the spring we saw earlier. Nice. Then the chest should be behind this. Though. This must be a quest. Link must fall. Indeed. I think that's a headpiece. So you're the Jiga who made Blade Master faster than anyone else in history. This is where we mortals train. I won't begrudge you your title. You're clearly capable. But you're a newcomer to my area. Arena. So I'll treat you as such. Now newcomer. Zelda's disappearance has provided us with an opportunity to crush Hyrule's spirit once and for all. But her appointed swordsman, Link, is still out there, alive and kicking. Stubborn little wretch. He is. Hence, our intensive training. Uh, he's a formidable, form, he's a formid, formidable warrior and we'll all need to hone our skills to take oh. him down. If you value your life, I recommend you do the same. Blade Master title or no. Show enough promise. And this will be ours, oh. I guess. You might even earn our precious lightning helm. It's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. 
But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handled by those who have been properly trained. We train by sparring with our fellow Jiga. We set a timer and the com combatants just keep coming. You earn better and better prizes based on the number of opponents you defeat. Let's see, if you really want to measure your strength, show me you can defeat three combat combatants under one minute. It costs 100 rupees, huh? So, bring it on then. Again, I can use my regular gear for it. That's three. Ah. Enough. Hmm. I'm impressed you're still standing. You defeated three of our fighters, just as I hoped you would. Not bad for a newcomer, I suppose. Oh. Take this, you earned it. Nice. Uh, ah. Let's do... Ah. Let's try it again. So oh. this time we need to... The more you train, the more you nourish your mind and body. It's always a good idea to sharpen your skills. On the line is our Earthwake technique, capable of which marks you as a true member of the Giga Clan. Of course, to prove yourself worthy of such a prize, you would have to defeat six combatants. Think you're up for it? You prepared 100 rupees for the training fee, yes? Yep, bring it on. Ah. Ah. Okay, so six of them now. That should not be a problem. Oh no, it broke. That we don't want to use. Let's use spears then. Because we want attack speed, that's the most important thing here. Wow. Uh, maybe heal some. That's great. They all lined up there on me. Ah, another target smashed. Impressive. Clearly you got some real promise. Ah. Well done, you show you are worthy to learn our secret technique. Accept this teaching with an attentive mind and ready heart. Earthwake Manual. It's a move that involves executing a charge attack with no weapon. At this point, though no members of the Giga Clan has done so before, I believe you could take on 9 combatants. That we should be able to do. But how can I use this? It gave us the ability to... Executing a charge attack with no weapons. Okay, nice. Oh. Okay, so if we do the nine enemies here, we get the lightning helmet. Let's do it. Mm. Oh. Ah. Also here I wonder if it's even worth to use the new power we got. Okay. That's no good. We lost 10 seconds already. Oh my god. Not the best start here. To five now. <laughs> oh, 
Now we really need to hi hurry up here. That should be enough. Ah. That's a big tactic. Mm. Many capable fighters have trained in this area arena, but you're the first to defeat nine of your peers. If you're this talented, you might be an even match for that nefarious swordsman link. Oh. I would guess it would be a pretty fair fight. You're clearly more gifted than I dare to manage. Come on now and receive our sacred treasure. Oh. Nice. So I guess we're done in this area now. But I think we have one more spot to explore here. If I remember correctly. I just need to find the exit here. Yeah, we have a stair up there. Looking at the time, that will have to wait for the next episode. If you have enjoyed watching today's episode, please consider liking the video. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.